Where there is faith, there are fewer beliefs. You use beliefs to shore up opinions rather than a relationship with the cosmos. Faith is what we call the relationship with the cosmos. It's different than beliefs. But if your beliefs were to be sort of the, the candy that comes in candy wrapper out of faith, but faith is the function, the deep, deep function. So when you use the word faith as a noun, it doesn't work. I should have faith. No, I'll go to the grocery store, you know, and see if I can buy some faith. It doesn't go that way. So what is faith? Faith is a faith thing. It is a, it's a verb. It's an activity. It's a function. And the function goes like this. I open myself up to the central intelligence of the universe so that I might live to the purpose for which I was made. And when I can come with that attitude, which is an attitude that seeks to be in truth, that seeks to be able to say, what does surrender mean? You know, surrender means I'm I'm letting, not, I'm letting go of how I would like the world to be, and I'm asking the universe, how do you want me to understand you? I think I hear people confusing faith and belief. They mm. call those beliefs their faith. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Because the beliefs are always going to get us into trouble. <laughs> I remember the bumper sticker that said, don't believe everything you, you, you think. You know, don't believe everything that you think. In a way, it's saying um, your mind and your usual way doesn't have it together. My experience with fundamentalists uh, that have been good experiences have happened when I said to those brothers, sisters weren't much among them, I said to them, um, Let's not talk about the difference between the church in Jerusalem and the church in, in Greek and in Greece and in Rome and about the Jews of that time. Let's go about today. You love God? I love God. Come. Do you think the book of Psalms is a good book to study? And then we sit down and we study the book of Psalms together they can take any translation they want, and I go back to the original Hebrew. And the thing is getting to be so good because they have a tam, they have a feeling. This is the Word of God. But when you get to the place where you study this thing in such a way, you can become a lot softer because then those holy words are not slogans. <laughs>